one question that comes up a lot is about smoothing 3D pen creations. Usually people want to know how I get something so smooth. Raw 3D pen texture can be very rough, which is why many people are surprised when they see a smooth 3D pen creation. In this video tutorial, I'm going to test out some different methods to smooth 3D pen objects to see which works the best. I'll also give some tips and tricks for my favorite smoothing methods. And yes, I hate endless sanding, so we're going to try to avoid that as much as possible. Before we get going, I want to stress that this video is for smoothing PLA filament only. These methods may not work on ABS or other filament types, so keep that in mind. I also want to say that this video avoids priming and painting or using a polyurethane spray. I don't believe these methods would work well with 3D pen creations because the initial surface is just so rough. I'm looking for easier and faster methods to get a smooth surface. You can still use these methods, of course, but they'll just be a lot more work. Last thing before we get going, safety. Many of the methods use tools or chemicals which can be dangerous. Make sure you're using the appropriate safety gear and precautions before trying any of the methods I'm about to show. The different methods I'm going to be testing are sanding and filing, using a wood burning tool, using a liquid smoother called 3D Gloop, and combinations of all three methods. The way I'm going to compare things is pretty simple. I'm going to take these half sphere styrofoam balls and coat them all with a single 3D pen layer of the same black filament. So all the methods will have the same starting point of these coated half spheres, which will let me try different things and compare the results. The first method is sanding and filing, which is very straightforward, but it's also the one that requires a lot of time and effort. As I mentioned earlier, raw 3D pen surfaces can be very rough and have very prominent layer lines. The whole trick of smoothing 3D pen creations is to get rid of all these peaks and valleys. For sanding, we can use various types of files and sandpaper. Here you can see two different roughness files. The rougher the file, the more material it will take off. Same for sandpaper. You can have different grits of sandpaper, which mean different roughness levels. The lower the grit, the rougher the sandpaper, and the more it will take off. By the way, this flexible sandpaper is awesome for sanding curvy shapes, and it lasts way longer than normal sandpaper. Highly recommended. But the thing about 3D pen objects is that you would have to file and sand for a very, very long time to even come close to a smooth surface. Here you can see the result of just sanding alone using various files and sandpaper for about 30 minutes. It's not even close to being smooth. Sanding is best used in combination with other methods. Let's now look at smoothing using a liquid smoother called 3D Gloop. I've seen a lot of people in the 3D printing community using this stuff. The folks over at 3D Gloop sent me some to try and use in my 3D pen projects. I can confirm that it works amazingly well for bonding together 3D pen creations. But what about smoothing? Let's give it a try and find out. An extra word about safety with 3D Gloop. They recommend the following, using a respirator, wearing safety goggles, wearing gloves, and working in a well-ventilated area. Finally, 3D Gloop will only work with PLA filament from a spool or a coil. If the filament is in stick form, 3D Gloop will most likely not work with it. All right, let's now add some Gloop to our test case. One important item that I noticed was you need to make sure to shake your Gloop before applying it. Otherwise, the results can vary wildly. Here's the first application of Gloop. I'm trying to apply a thin, even coat. I can see it begin acting on the surface almost immediately. Definitely be careful to not apply too much. This is what it looks like after the first coat has dried. You can see that it's kind of starting to blend the layer lines. It also dulls the color some and has a sort of whitish film. Let's apply a second layer and see what happens. This is the dried second coat. You can see it is blended a bit more, but also has more discoloration and dulling of the surface. The application is super fast and it takes very little effort to apply it. However, it's a pretty tall task to smooth out a rough 3D pen surface, and it looks like 3D Gloop also needs to be used in combination with other methods. Now let's try smoothing using a wood burning tool. One of the smoothing methods that I've seen widely used in the 3D pen community is using a wood burning tool or soldering iron. I talk more about this in detail in my advanced 3D pen tutorial, so check that out here. One thing that I want to add to the advice that I give in my advanced tutorial is about the wood burning tip material. The tips that came with this wood burning tool are made from brass. 
I found that when I used them, I ended up getting brownish stains on whatever I was smoothing. I tried making my own tips from stainless steel and that solved this problem. So definitely keep that in mind when you're using a wood burning tool for smoothing. Leave me a comment below if you want more detail on these stainless steel tips. On to the good stuff. You can see almost immediately that this is going to be a nice method. It starts smoothing out the rough surface and it maintains the shiny black color and finish. Getting the temperature setting and the amount of pressure to use takes some practice, but once you get those dialed in, it works great. These are just some quick cuts of the overall progression of the smoothing when using the wood burning tool. Just be sure not to press too hard or dwell too long on one area because it will melt through, especially with a single layer like this. Also, don't forget to occasionally clean the word burning tip as you're working. And this is the finished surface using wood burning alone. It's by far the best method we've seen yet. When you put the first three methods side by side, there really isn't any question at all. But can we get an even smoother surface using combinations of all three methods? Let's find out. We'll go faster through these combinations. For this one, I'm applying 3D Gloop to a surface I've already smoothed using a wood burning tool. And here is the result of that. It's better than 3D Gloop by itself, but still not as good as wood burning only. Next, I'm going to try to use wood burning and sanding together. I again initially used a wood burning tool to smooth the surface, which I then sanded with flexible 150 grit sandpaper. After some cleanup with water, I then used the wood burning tool to very lightly go over the sanded surface to return the shiny black finish of the material. I repeated the process by sanding again, and then lightly going over the surface with the wood burning tool again. You have to go very lightly because the wood burning tool can cause more divots and roughness if you're not careful. Finally, I went all out and tried some polishing emery boards that I had. You have to be selective in what you use for polishing because some methods can end up scratching your surface such that you have to do wood burning again, which can then cause you to need more sanding. So yeah, don't fall into that endless loop. I think this method tops using wood burning by itself. The surface is slightly smoother and the best yet, in my opinion. I mean, look at the reflection of my overhead ring light in the smooth surface. That's pretty dang sweet, especially when you compare it to the original 3D pen texture. My final experiment involves combining all three methods. I initially smoothed the surface using a wood burning tool, then I sanded, and now I'm applying some 3D gloop. I now tried applying some Brasso polish, as I saw Devin from Make Anything try in one of his videos, but I did not have very good results. This is what it looked like after applying the Brasso polish. I decided to go for another round of sanding, gloop, and brasso to see if that would help, but it really didn't. As a last ditch effort, I tried lightly wood burning for the final smoothing, but this also did not go well. It took much more pressure than usual to have any effect, and it became gummy and left brown spots. I eventually just gave up with combining all three methods. When we look at all five methods together, we immediately see a number of things. Of the solo methods, wood burning clearly provides the best finish. The two best looking options overall are wood burning by itself and a combination of wood burning and sanding. In terms of deciding between these two methods, the solo wood burning took about 17 minutes while the combination took around 40 minutes. If you want to get smoother and smoother, you generally have to put more and more time in, but the wood burning by itself seems like the fastest way to get a decently smooth surface. And that's a wrap on smoothing 3D pen creations. If you like this tutorial, you should check out my general 3D pen tutorials. I have different levels of these tutorials from the absolute beginner to advanced users. Or if you're looking for ideas of things to make with your 3D pen, here's another step-by-step -step tutorial that features five fun things to make. Finally, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more 3D pen videos from me.